yesterday we discussed this kind of problems this varieties of problem we already discussed yesterday i'm just writing on the screen once again so that you will understand it much more better right we will continue from where we have stopped yesterday so that your understanding will also be very very clear listen carefully sir we solved this first question yesterday 30 kilometers per hour 30 minutes late right 30 kilometers per hour 30 minutes late 60 kilometers per hour 10 minutes early right 60 kilometers per hour 10 minutes early yesterday we discussed only the distance today we will also find the actual speed we will also find the actual time we will not do this problem right now immediately we will do this problem after some time i am just telling you or i am just reminding you where we have stopped yesterday and what is that we have found out yesterday we found out only the distance passed yesterday that means if i want to reach office exactly on time how much distance i need to travel that is what i found out yesterday but today i will also teach you after some time if i want to find the actual speed that i need to travel to if i to reach on exact time then how much speed i need to travel with how much is the actual time i need to travel with i think yesterday we discussed various varieties of problems which will make some of the tricky questions to be solved in the most easiest way possible right now listen to this carefully sir we will start with today's class listen to this carefully now can i say that I am just drafting a question. Listen to this question carefully. First question of today's morning session. First question of today's morning session. Now see here sir. This is my question. This is the question. Again this question is the original question which came in the examination with a small change in numerical value. Right now see here. I am putting the question which came in the examination with a small change in the numerical value. Let me increase the font. Just one minute sir. Okay, now see here sir. This is my question. Your question is sir. A car completes a journey in 15 hours. A car completes a journey in 15 hours. The first half of the distance at 21 kilometers per hour and the second half at 24 kilometers per hour. Find the distance. Right? Find the distance. Now, what is that they are saying? There is a car. Right? A person is traveling from A to B. Right? A person is traveling from A to B. They are saying that when a person is traveling from A to B, a car is taking a journey of 15 hours. Total number of hours travelled by that person in the car. It is nothing but given as 15 hours. Right? Total time taken. Total time taken is given as 15 hours. This is my first statement in the question. Right? This is my first statement. The first half of the distance. Total distance I am not aware of it. That is my actual question. Find the distance is my actual question. Total distance I am not aware of. But the question says the first half of the distance he will travel at a speed of 21 kilometers per hour and the second half at 24 kilometers per hour. Find the distance is the question. Right? Find the distance. Now see here. A person is totally traveling from A to B. Can I say that? Because a person is traveling from one place to another place, the distance will not change. That means, I can say that distance is constant. This is for all the new students probably who did not attend my yesterday's class. What is the meaning of distance is constant? Distance is constant means constant is nothing but a fixed quantity. Right? Constant is nothing but a fixed quantity. That means distance is nothing but a fixed quantity. Right? Distance is a fixed quantity. Because distance is a fixed quantity, you can fix any value whatever you like for distance whatever the number you like you can fix that number but what is the question they are saying sir the first half of the distance this first half of the distance he is traveling at a speed of 21 kilometers per hour and the second half he is traveling at a speed of 24 kilometers per hour so what i will do is i will assume the distance as 
I will assume the distance as LCM of given speeds, LCM of 21 and 24, I already taught you in time and work, 21 and 24, it is, what is the common factor, common factor is 3, so the remaining things will be 7 into 8, 7 into 8 is 56, 56 into 3 is, LCM of this is nothing but 168 kilometers, that means I am assuming the total distance as 168 kilometers, this is my assumption, this 168 kilometers may or may not be the correct answer, right, it may or may not be the correct answer, if I assume the total distance as 168, first half of the distance will be half of 168 which is 84 second half of the distance will be half of 168 which is 84 now listen carefully if i call this middle point as a c for example if i call this middle point as c can i say that speed is equal to distance by time so time will be equal to distance by speed so that means what is the time taken from a to c time taken from a to c is nothing but time taken from a to c is nothing but distance from a to c divided by speed from a to c distance from a to c is nothing but 84 kilometers speed from a to c is nothing but 21 kilometers per hour so time is nothing but distance by speed 84 by 21 which is nothing but 4 hours similarly time taken from c to b Time taken from C to B is nothing but distance from C to B which is again 84. Speed from C to B is 24. 12 into 7 is 84. 12 into 2 is 24. 7 by 2 is 3.5 hours. Right? 7 by 2 is 3.5 hours. Now, listen carefully sir. Think logically. Can I say that? Can I say that? From here to here. From A to C, if I want to travel, I will take 4 hours. From C to B, if I want to travel, I will take 3.5 hours. So, totally from A to B, if I want to travel, I will totally take 4 hours plus 3.5 hours, 7.5 hours. That means, according to my assumption, according to my assumption, total time taken is 4 plus 3.5 which is 7.5 hours according to my assumption it will be 7.5 hours similarly according to my assumption distance is 168 kilometers but we should solve the question according to what is given in the question question says the total time taken is not 7.5 hours but it is 15 hours right but it is 15 hours 7.5 should become 15 multiply by 2 168 also multiply by 2 168 into 2 is how much 336 kilometers answer for this question is 336 kilometers kindly do not take it as let the distance be x half of the distance will be x by 2 other half will be x by 2 and complicate yourself by using fractions and also by using variables simple common sense logic should say that distance is constant constant is nothing but a fixed quantity you can fix any quantity of your choice preferably the lcm of the given speeds so that you will avoid using fractions i hope the idea is clear sir very very easy way of solving question kindly comment in the live chat if the first problem of today's class is very very clear 7.5 is the total time according to my assumption but according to the question it is 15 hours 7.5 into which number is 15 7.5 into 2 is only 15 right that is the reason we are multiplying by 2. Similarly, distance is 168 kilometers according to my assumption. According to question, how much they are asking? If you are multiplying this by 2, this also should be multiplied by 2. Your question says, okay, your question says, a person travels from P to Q at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Let me draw whatever they say and then write it. A person is traveling from P to Q. A person is traveling from P to Q at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Right? At a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. And returns from Q. Right? Returns from Q. It is not to Q. Right? And returns from Q by increasing his speed by 50 percentage. Right? By increasing his speed by 50 percentage. What is his average speed for both the trips? Now see here. He is starting from P. 
he is going towards q at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour and he is coming back from q and returns from q by increasing his speed by 50 percentage that means earlier he was traveling at 40 kilometers per hour now there is an increase of how much 50 percentage 50 percentage means 1 by 2 that means i told you in my yesterday's class denominator will always represent your initial value Initial speed at which he was going was at 2 km per hour, right? Initial speed was 2 km per hour. Final speed will be 1 increase compared to 2. From 2 there is an increase of 1. From 2 if I increase by 1, it becomes 3 km per hour. But according to the question, initially he was travelling at how much? 40 km per hour. 2 into 20 is 40. 3 into 20 is 60 or in simple language I can say that in simple language I can say that 50 percentage increase from 40 what is 50 percentage of 40 20 20 increase from 40 is nothing but 60 kilometers per hour right he is traveling back at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour find the average speed is the question we already discussed this variety but it is slightly asked in a different way that's the only difference average speed is nothing but Total distance divided by total time. Total distance. I don't know the distance between A, P and Q. But I can assume the distance as LCM of 40 and 60. LCM of 40 and 60 is 120 kilometers. I am assuming the distance as 120 kilometers. That means from P to Q he will travel 120. From Q to P he will travel back another 120 total time from p to q in one hour he will cover 40 kilometers to cover 120 kilometers he will take three hours from q to p in one hour he will cover 60 kilometers to cover 120 he will take two hours your answer is 120 plus 120 to 40 divided by 5 which is nothing but 48 kilometers per hour do not kindly use that formulas which is given in your textbook as 2ab divided by a plus b and waste your time in the examination this formula will work only for very very easy questions but as and when we move on to tricky questions in average speed it will be very very difficult to use that formula and solve that question i hope the idea is clear sir how we got 5 in the denominator barani it is very simple right sir from here to here it is 40 kilometers per hour coming back is 60 kilometers per hour can i say that total distance is 120 again coming back is 120 divided by total time time how will you calculate from here to here one hour it is 40 to cover 120 it is 3 hours one hour it is 60 to cover 120 it is 2 hours barani is it clear sir Malik, this is one last time I am explaining. I am taking the distance as a constant. Kindly listen to the class everyone carefully sir. Distance is constant. Constant is nothing but a fixed quantity. You fix whatever you like Malik. You like number 7, you like number 11, you like number 13, you like number 18, you like your date of birth. Fix any value. But I am fixing the distance as LCM of 40 and 60 which is 120 kilometers. Malik, I believe that the idea is clear. You can take any other number, Malik. Yes, 